die Grundausrüstung beim Anstieg. The basic equipment needed for alpine climbing is considerably more extensive than that needed for sport climbing. We need more protection. We're operating in a high alpine environment, so we need more clothing. We need a lot of food and drink. And so overall, we simply end up carrying a heavier load. The harness for alpine climbing is extremely important. It is our connection to the rope, and as you can see here, it should have a light construction because we need to watch the weight, of course. It's important that an alpine climbing harness has enough gear loops. We need to carry a significant amount of equipment, and so we need space for it all. For alpine climbing, it's not quite so important that the harness is super comfortable, because we don't spend so long hanging in it and don't fall very often. Except if you're working on real long rappelling slopes, then you'll want a slightly more comfortable harness. Like this one. This one's padded at the hip and on the leg loops, so it's definitely not going to cause any problems. There are various types of helmet. These in-mold helmets are commonly available. In-mold helmets have an inside material like polystyrene and a hard outer shell. It's important that the helmet fits well and is well ventilated. You'll be wearing it all day, and in summer in particular, it can be really hot. The helmet must not be older than five years. You can confirm the age by reading the label on the inside. Only then can it properly fulfill its function. You need climbing shoes that don't have too extreme a construction. They shouldn't have too much pre-tensioning. You spend a relatively long time wearing them, and you can't slip out of them at every belay. This means they have to fit well, but also be comfortable. A Velcro fastener is very handy, because you can at least open them a little between pitches. It's important that alpine climbing shoes aren't too tight, particularly in the heel area, as otherwise you'll have problems with your Achilles tendon. In alpine climbing, an ATC plate combination has become established as the standard. This is both a belay device and a rappelling device. It works for single ropes and double ropes. You wear it like this, with the two locking carabiners on the harness. This means you can keep it all together and you have everything you need. We need slings and cords for the widest range of applications. For protection when we want to secure rocky knoll slings, tunnels, but also for rescue techniques. And last but not least, when belaying. We therefore have different lengths, ideally different colors, both for the cords and for the slings. The prepared belay sling is ideal for alpine climbing routes with existing belays using bolts. I've already prepared everything and can quickly set up my personal anchor and the connection to the next protection point. We also have clothing with us, both an insulating layer and a weather-resistant, moisture-resistant layer. Something to eat and drink. You definitely need to pack a climbing guide in your backpack, a topographic map, a cell phone for emergency calls, and a headlamp for when it gets dark.